This is Brother versus Brother. Jonathan versus Drew. Now, who would be judging it? Uh, somebody who knows value in home, somebody who knows flip value. But it has to be somebody who, who knows what we do and knows exactly what we're going to do these houses. Why don't we get the female versions of us? Get Alana and Lex to come in here and judge us. Listed sisters good. would work. Yeah, OK. The Listed Sisters are a talented twin duo, Alana and Lex. They're a little better looking than we are, and they are extremely good at real estate. Hello? Hey, Lex? No, Alana. 50-50 ah, oh. chance. You feel our pain. We almost had it right. It's uh, it's Drew and Jonathan. Are you? Is Lex there as well? Hey, I'm here. OK, good. So we, we each are making over the master suite of a different property, and we need you to come in and decide who the winner is and who the loser is in one week. We would love to come down and judge you guys. I mean, I couldn't think of anybody better than twins judging twins. And also, you guys can come hang out with us and Wayne Newton, too, if you want. Uh, yeah, of course. Have you guys been to Vegas before? We actually grew up in Vegas. That's our hometown. Oh, wow. What? Oh, OK. OK, that's yeah. even better a fit. So we'll let you guys go. Bye. This is awesome. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well, at least the judges are settled. I bought this house for $318,000, and I budgeted $150,000 for the renovation. At this point, I've spent $70,000 on the first two challenges. I'm allocating $30,000 for the master bedroom, bathroom, and a beautiful closet. This space used to be a garage, so I'll use a portion of that, as well as gutting the other room in this wing of the house to make way for a large master bedroom and bath that looks out into this backyard. The master bath will feature a simple but spa-like design with a large glass shower and double sink vanity while the bedroom will maintain a sleek mid-century look with hardwood floors, simple furnishings, and a grass cloth feature wall. A large walk-in closet and patio door will complete the look for this space. That last challenge was tough. That was a tough challenge. This challenge is really good for me. It's all about the master suite. I've spent $68,000 on the living room, dining room, and kitchen. My plan is to invest $30,000 for the master suite, including the master bedroom, bathroom, and closet. I'll update the hardwood, paint the room in a soothing neutral color, and give it some glam with wallpaper, lighting, and soft linens. The bulk of my budget will be spent in the master bath. I'll completely demo the existing setup and start from scratch, reconfiguring the space to fit new his and hers water closets and vanities, and install a soaker tub and glass shower that will be the focal point of the room. I'll reclaim some wasted space for a large walk-in closet, including a peninsula with a marble waterfall feature, and I'll finish the glamorous look with custom barn doors. I'm cutting out the slab on the floor because we have to relocate where all the plumbing fixtures are going in this bathroom. Once it's open and once my plumber does his work, the inspector will come and say, hey, it looks good. Go ahead and fill this all with concrete. We're raising the concrete up almost six inches so everything's level in this house. It's a lot of work, but it has to happen fast. Yeah, I know that we're trying to do everything under a hyper-fast timeline. Now a matter of whoosh. Yep. Whoosh. Okay. Oh, okay. Work okay. faster. Yes. It's moved. This did cost me more, but it was worth every penny. I thought you said this was heavy. <laughs> I managed to sneak in my bathroom vanities to Tamir when I ordered my big kitchen. It allowed me to save on cost, and it's like getting custom without having to do the long wait or pay all that extra money. I don't think it's cheating, but it definitely worked. Nice little trick. We're doing the screws from this side because that's where our drawers will be. No one will ever be able to see this surface. If we were to screw through from this side, when you have the cabin doors open, you'd see screw heads there. And screw heads are not aesthetically pleasing. So, yeah, we're, that's perfect. Jonathan. Doing good. Just getting there. Being able to access the backyard and the pool from the master suite is a huge value add. It gives the homeowner that sense of having their own private retreat, which is exactly what I was going for. 
I plan to spend $30,000 on the master bedroom, bathroom, and closet. And despite some problems with plumbing and labor, I saved in other areas. So I managed to stay on budget. Be strategic when you're trying to renovate a house to sell. Think about it. The buyer is the homeowner. They live in the master suite, and you want to make sure you give them that space that's just for them, not the rest of the family. It has to be relaxing, inviting, and tranquil. I budgeted $30,000 for my master suite, which includes master bedroom, bathroom, and closet. But I did go over because of plumbing and electrical. However, it was worth it in the end because my master suite is incredible. What would you like to see in these masters? Master bathrooms are extremely important when reselling, so I'm anxious to check it out. Oh, wow. This neighborhood is awesome. You ladies head inside, and I'll wait here for you. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Ooh, wide open. This kitchen is amazing. Whoever this is is not afraid of color. Absolutely not. That's for sure. So if the kitchen looks this amazing, I cannot wait to see the master. Let's check it out. Yes. Wow. This is so nice. I love that the floor is continued from the living area in here. Mm -hmm. Really nice. And then you break it up with this rug. This feels so inviting. This closet is amazing. Mm -hmm. Tons of organization. I have a feeling Drew might have done this since he dresses better than Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Really well thought out master closet. Wallpaper gives texture. It's so fun. A lot of buyers will like it. It's very calming, relaxing, mm -hmm. and for a master, that's very important. I do love that this master suite is private from the rest of the house. Feels yes. like a nice oasis. Buyers do love to have a master wing, mm -hmm. so this would provide that. A little secondary seating area over there, and you have access to the backyard. That's very, very smart. This is amazing. You know how much I love these faucets. The colors in here are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Very relaxing. And is this like tiled bath? That's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. I love it. The whole wall, too. Really Very fun. Frameless shower, amazing. It's really spacious. A little unexpected to have such a large bathroom in this older home. It's just clean, fresh, and white. Always works in bathroom. This is amazing. I can't wait to see the next one. I know. Let's check it out. Heavenly View. Any questions? Whose is it? I'm not telling you who it is. <laughs> we'll figure it out. OK, I'll see you in a minute. I love these doors. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I love this entry. It's really grand, really beautiful. This is really chic. I love it. Completely, totally different from the other house. It is. For sure. Now I'm, now I'm confused. I don't know. I like it. I love it. Want some more of it. <laughs> well, let's go upstairs. All right. All right, let's check this out. Ooh, wow. Glam theme continues up here, too. This is it so elegant. It does. This fixture, amazing. I love this bed, though, because as soon as you walk in, I felt like I wanted to just dive on in. So both brothers are using some wallpaper. Mm-hmm. I like that detail. And again, the purples throughout, really nice touch. Love this chair. This Designated nice. sitting area, reading, have your morning coffee. This feels like a new chic Vegas hotel. Uh, I want to see what's behind that door. Check out this gorgeous. Wow. <sighs> I'm extremely impressed with this space. Two toilets, two vanities. Girl, this defines his and hers. Or his and his. Or hers and hers. Exactly. They splurged on this bathroom, mm -hmm. for sure. I feel like I'm in a sanctuary. Like, as soon as you walk in here, you feel like you're somewhere else. And this closet, wow. Now, I think this could be Drew's, because he has more clothes than Jonathan, I think. <laughs> I can't get over how much crystal. And mm. this is marble there, isn't Langy. it? Yes, this is super fancy. I like that he painted these doors a darker color. Yeah. All right, well, let's head back downstairs and get JD. All right. Your judges have arrived. Yes. Finally. Get over here. <laughs> what the heck took you guys so long? Hey, that's important work we were doing. Yeah. Very important. Jump in, grab a seat. 
Okay, Forest Crest was very fresh, clean, spa-like. I loved all the pops of color. I, I love the green. I actually matched that bathroom very well. <laughs> you did. How about Heavenly View? It was very unexpected. When we walked in there, I did not expect to see that gorgeous new tiled and shower and the freestanding tub. I felt like that was uh, like a boutique hotel. Yes. I felt like this part of the day was all going to be done telepathically. The one thing I cannot telepathically read from other twins is who won. <laughs> so let's cut to the chase. Mm -hmm. first, actually, first things first, side let's bet. deal with the side bet. OK. So do you think you know whose house is whose? I think that Forest Crest is Jonathan's. OK. And Heavenly View, Drew. OK, and what do you think? Heavenly View is Jonathan's and Forest Crest Drew's. OK. okay. So before we tell you whose house is whose, I hope you guys have come to a consensus on which house you like the most. We have come to a decision. OK, go ahead. Ooh, yeah. She's yeah. close to me. That's why I moved, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of this challenge is Forest Crest. Yeah! Chicken dinner. That's right. Oh, what? Just get angry oh, at the dirty word. You gotta go Here, sit why don't you sit over? Yeah. Choose the other yes, one. Yes, good. See? Come you know on. What? I, what? I, I, I thought you Choose the other one. I will pout, but that does not mean I'm a sore loser. I'm just going to text Wayne and tell him I'm looking forward to having a get together tonight. Uh, make sure it hurts. He doesn't, he doesn't it hurts. Need, he doesn't need to pre wash oh. any of the cars. Oh, Drew is seething. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't cushion. I'm getting mom and dad here. Yeah. Yeah. Don't touch me. Well, obviously, this is not a good day for real estate agents. Alana and I have some dirty work to do. Uh, I also can, can lend me. you a shirt and some boots if you need. Totally cool. Got the boots. Oh, yeah. shirt. Nobody gets to do this. This is the ultimate. You could not ask for a better Vegas experience because Wayne. Newton is giving me the tour of Shenandoah. <laughs> and this is the coolest thing I have ever done. But I feel like we should go and visit the less lucky brother and see what he's up to. Who? This is fresh. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, it's such a kick to have you here. Oh, hi. Seven, yeah. Hey, you guys having oh. fun out there? So much. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Just, thank there you, go. you very much. <laughs> yeah, no, get out of one of At least if I have to suffer through all this stuff at the ranch, Alana had to do it with me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, guys, uh, off the grass, uh, please. Off the grass. Yeah, off the grass. Come on. Get, 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 get Come on, two. excuse me. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you very much.